fellow Mana Maniacs, Mike the Pied Piper here, and I'm here with a Deck 10 pro, Deck Profile video. Um, something a little bit different. Um, I do have quite a few decks made, uh, ready for uh, locals to start back up, and I kind of wanted to share this kind of thought process that I had with a deck that um, I definitely want to try. I don't know if it will be competitive. Um, we'll see. Um, there's been a, I really like the environment right now because there's so many different cards you can choose from and so many different strategies you can play around with. So we'll see. <laughs> um, we'll see if this turns into a competitive deck, but I really like this deck because it does really well against, um, Argo. Basically decks that try to win turn one, turn two, heck, even turn three. So, uh, just to kind of get into the deck a little bit, um, don't want to keep the video too long, but, uh, as you guys can see, the, uh, leader is Fuzamasu. This is a set one leader, and, uh, I really, I've always, always loved this leader. It's a different leader, um, than most of the leaders that are out there. Um, the front side is pretty simple. It's once per turn, you can choose a card in your life, place it into your drop area, if that card is a blue card, you get to draw a card. If not, well, I guess the card goes into your drop area. Uh, not really good. But the one thing is, is it does help you ensure that you're going to awaken. Um, it kind of sets up your life accordingly because this leader can get triple strike, essentially where it would not awaken at all because it does awaken at two life. Um, but this kind of does help to set up your life accordingly, so you are waking, awakening at the um, at the two life. Um, when you do awaken, uh, you do uh, go into Absolute God Fuse Zamasu, and this is the really cool effect that no other leader has right now. Um, but essentially, uh, when you would take damage, instead of you just taking damage, you would actually discard the top five cards of your deck. Um, if it's a double strike, or you would take two damage, it'd be 10. Triple strike, 15. Quadruple strike, 20. Um, and then if your victory strike, um, according to the site, uh, you would still lose. So um, this deck, you know, what I really love about it is now that they upped the card limit to 60 cards, yay, um, you're essentially gaining um, 8 life. And how that math works is... If you think about it, you're drawing six cards at the beginning of the game, so there's your six, your eight life originally, so that's 14 cards out of the deck, and right there is, you're going to have um, 46 cards. Uh, you're going to draw cards, obviously, for a few turns. Um, essentially, you're going to be gaining eight life. Now, uh, you could actually be gaining some more, because when you guys look at this deck list, which we'll kind of go through... Um, this is the closest thing right now you're going to get into reviving in Dragon Ball Super. I know there's been a lot of people that have been like, Oh, I want a deck that revives. That'd be cool if you could revive a life. Well, this deck essentially does that. Um, right now, the way I do have it set up, this is kind of the budget version of the deck. If we do go to the side deck, you're going to see a lot of those money cards. <laughs> So this, uh, the side deck are money cards that you could put in there. But right now, the way we have it, um, it's pretty budget friendly. Um, besides maybe the SCR in there. But I'll kind of go through it. And um, hopefully, um, maybe you guys use this in your locals. And maybe you find ways to tweak it. Um, we definitely love to hear from you. Um, so uh, here we go. Let's kind of get into it. So the first thing that you'll notice with the deck is I do run the, um, basically, I don't know what, like, like, I guess you can call it the Path the Godhood engine, or the, the Goku engine that basically allows you to revive cards. So essentially, uh, we do start off with this card, uh, Son Goku Path the Godhood. Basically, you do place this card in the owner's drop area, and then you choose one so Son Gohan Adolescent, Son Goten, Vegeta, Trunk shoot and Vidal card from your drop area and return them to your deck. Choose one red yellow multicolor Son Goku card in your deck or hand with an energy cost of three. Play it, shuffle your deck, and the battle cards you played gain double or the battle card you played gains double strike and dual attack for the duration of the turn. So essentially when you play this card and you use it, you are reviving five cards. It's like a life. 
It's like a life. So good. So good. And then you get to turn around and you get to play the Son Goku Dawn of Affinity, which is now a critical uh, has offering. So your opponent either takes a life or you draw two cards. And it's a dual attacker, double strike. Dual attacker, double strike, um, critical. Because he gains those effects from the Sun to Go, Sun Go, Sun Goku Path of the Greatness. Or Godhood, sorry. <laughs> Not Path of the Greatness. Godhood. So, really cool. So now the next question is, well, okay, how do we get the Goten and the Trunks and all that in the discard pile? Glad yes. Yeah. So we're going to get into that. So first, I do run four of the Quick Dodge Sun Goten. Um, really good card. Just a one-cost blocker. Super easy to play. Need kind of that extra defense in the deck. You know, play the one drop. No problem. Uh, then we look at our trunks, um, which we do run the key barrage trunks. This is really good, um, again, to if they have like that battle card you know, really early that they play early to get out. Um, you can play this, take the life, which is going to help you awaken, ensure that you're not going to get triple strike, and basically gets one of their battle cards and it returns it to their hand. Um, as for the Gohan, uh, we have a few choices. You'll see that I went with the Great Sandman uh, Town Hero. Uh, yeah, that's right. This deck can revive super combos, which is really cool. So we have four of the Sun Gohan Adolescents, the Great Sandman Town Hero, that could be in the discard to go towards that Sun Goku, uh, the Path to Godhood. Or you can use uh, these. The Sun Gohan Universe 7 United, which we'll go back to this on um, while this why this is ran in the deck. But this is a really solid card to have with this deck. Um, basically a three cost that allows you to choose a blue battle card, three or more in your drop area. So um, there's your Gohan. So you got Gohan, Trunks, Goten. Um, Videl, <laughs> unfortunately, there's not a lot of good choices with Videl. Um, I did go back and forth. There is a blue Videl that you can pair with like a Gohan, which is like a blocker that costs one that you can search for. Uh, that's really good. Uh, you, not really good, but I guess it's an option. Uh, you could run the red Videl in here where you get to play it for free. It's like a free blocker if you have a Gohan out, which I guess that works too. Um, the Caring Mother of Adele, I find, I mean, it's a nut, more yellow that's added to the deck. It is a blue-yellow type deck. Um, and it, it can help get card advantage when needed, um, when you need to play it. So I do run the Videls, uh, the Caring Mother of Videls. Uh, and then the Vegetas, there's actually uh, seven Vegetas that I run in the deck. I run Vegeta Time to Vacation. I run three of these, uh, only costs the one yellow to play and then two of the other color. I really like this card because it allows you to choose one a red or yellow Son Goku card with an energy cost of two in your hand or drop area and play it, which you could just turn around and play Son Goku, the Path to God, uh, Godhood. So it makes sure that basically you have that continue engine. So once that two drop goes into the discard, you could use this Vegeta time for a vacation and essentially you can just keep playing it, keep reviving, which is really cool. Um, and then the next card, uh, the next Vegeta that I play, which actually pairs well with the deck, is this Enraged Vegeta, which allows you to choose three battle cards with an energy cost between three and seven in your drop area and place them at the bottom of your deck in any order. Revival, once again, this is allowing you to revive cards so you can take more damage. Uh, when you play this card, it gains critical and dual attack. So not only are you reviving, you are playing a dual attack critical which is just awesome so again it's another vegeta in the discard pile that just pairs well with the sun goku the path to godhood so awesome awesome all right so now to get to the rest of the deck um the reason why we play the sun gohan universe 7 united is because we do add um Basically, we do have the few Zamasu. We have the Zamasu engine in the deck, which I'm kind of excited to try this out in set 10. Um, you know, especially with the new field card that came out, um, you know, Tragedy Overground. 
which uh, I can't, I really can't wait to try this against X. But essentially, what, um, how, how we get that out um, is we do have um, a few different Zamasus in the deck. Uh, first, I do run four of these the few Zamasu, the Cunning. Uh, negate the attack and play this card. It is indestructible, so once you get this thing out, yeah, they can minus it health. Um, so if you do go against some decks, they will get around it. They will subtract the health to get rid of it. But what I love about this is you do gain the, um, uh, oh, pronouncing this, I'm probably pronouncing it, the Aegis or Aegis or... You gain that ability where you can get, uh, discard the blue, yellow in order for you to untap two energy during your turn, which is really cool. Um, and then this is also a counter. Uh, the other thing that I really like about this card, it is a four drop. And because it is a four drop, guess what? You can revive your negates. So um, it's just a way for you to like keep constantly reviving your negates. Um, or when you're discarding the top five for... Uh, Zamasu's ability, again, it ensures that you're able to get these uh, few Zamasu's uh, shuffled in the deck. So, really, really cool stuff. Also, it can be a card that can be pulled with Sun Gohan, which is really cool. Uh, which, again, is a three drop, which can be shuffled in with this Vegeta. So, again, it's allowing you to shuffle in all these cards. But essentially, what I do is you want to get the Zamasu, and then all of a sudden... You want to get the, you use the Sun Goku, um, or the Goku Black, the future, um, yeah, this, this Goku Black. And essentially what this allows you to do is you can place this into your energy during your turn. And it means when you do that, you can only play uh, Goku Black and you can only play Zamasu cards. So if I'm ramping up, I can play this and then turn around and go into the five drop. Union Patara, um, the Zamasu, and the Goku Black. I can either Patara with this, for, with it being out in play, or in my energy, and then this one would already be in my energy. Um, I can basically play this few Zamasu 5-drop quick and easy, just like that. Um, and I don't know if you guys have been looking at the set 10, but essentially once you get the, uh, the few Zamasu um, Advocate for Evil... You're then going to go into the view, uh, few Zamasu, the Divine Immortal, which you basically pay a, uh, four blue, so four blue energy, and then you're able to EX Evolve this thing, and, or not, sorry, not EX Evolve this thing, but you're able to, um, well yeah, EX Evolve, you're able to place this nine drop on top of the five drop, and then once you have the nine drop on, then you can activate main, destroy this card, and then you can play Tragedy Overground. And this is or uh, this is the card that really, like, once you get this thing out, it is it's trouble. Like, uh, for basically the remainder of the game, because there's very few cards that can get rid of this. I think Zeno can get rid of it. Um, blue, or the, uh, the new Zeno came out. The Unison card can get rid of it. Otherwise, that's it. Like, not even the 7-drop Zeno can get rid of it because the minute they play a battle card that's 4 or more, it goes into their uh, energy and rest mode instead. So, my understanding, and judges may correct me, you know, if I'm wrong, my apologies, but it goes into their energy and rest mode instead. It doesn't even get to come out into play. So, they don't get any autos, they get nothing. So, really, there's only one card that I know of. If there's more, please add them in the comments. Um... But as far as I know, as of now, I haven't seen the SCRs yet for uh, um, set 10, but as of now, there's only one card that can really get rid of this. So once you get this card out, um, it's going to be a lot of trouble for your opponent, um, especially when you able to revive and your deck revolves around playing the lower, the two, the three drops. So um, if your opponent has a lot of those higher end or four, five, six, those game finishing cards once this card gets out that's it they're not even going to be able to play them um next thing that i wanted to go over obviously i do have sun Tzu beans in the deck because if you're a blue deck and you don't have sun Tzu beans in the deck i'm trying to figure out it's just kind of one of those staple cards um until they ban this card uh, i will be putting this in every blue deck as a matter of fact when i build my decks it's the first blue card i add to the deck oh i have blue energy yeah i'm adding sun Tzu beans. So, um, I do have Sun Tzu Beans in the deck. 
Um, I do love running Vegito in here. Um, it is a nice defense, especially once you get later into the game. Uh, you do play this Vegito. You get to draw a card, which is going to help um, when it comes to your draws. And, uh, yeah, um, it is another card that you can shuffle into your deck with um, this Vegeta. And then it's also a card that you can pull with Sun Gohan Universe 7 United. Same thing with the SCR. Um, again, it's a blue battle card that's three or more. So when this guy gets into your discard pile, you just got to play Sun Gohan Universe 7 United. And then you get that right in your hand. So you got a few different finishers that are in this deck. Uh, I also added the Ultimate Judgment uh, Jocko. You could remove this card in this deck, but I do find it to be kind of like an extra defense for the deck. Um, once again, it is a card that you can shuffle in uh, with the Vegeta. So you get to shuffle. It's more cards in your discard pile that you get to shuffle. And it's just one of those where your opponent thinks they can go for game and you got two or three of these in your hand. Come to find out, they are not going for game because you play these, and it's like, yeah, just put them right back in your hand. So um, maybe they don't have that big major attack or something along that line. So I do like playing these. Um, just kind of a little extra added defense to the deck. All right, so finally, I think we went through all the cards of the deck. Um, really exciting, really fun to play. I'm going to go over the side deck real quick, and these are some more expensive money-type cards that you could add to the deck. Um, obviously, the one that goes for a lot of money right now, the Grade 8 Sun Goku Saiyan Instincts. I'm so glad they are reprinting this. They are reprinting this in the Event 7 packs, I think. Event 6 or Event 7. I think it's Event 7. So these should be a little bit easier to get. Uh, this would ensure that you have even more draw power for the deck because I know some of you out there are like, ugh, draw power might be a little rough with this deck. It is and isn't. I mean, you do have the offering with the Sun Goku Dawn of Divinity. Um, you do have your revival of your super combos. Um, you do have the SCR, um, you know, the caring mother Videl that you could lay out. I mean, so it does have draw power in here, but this is just even more so to be like, okay, hey, I need that extra draw power. Um, another card that you could add to this deck um, that you could actually replace with the Ultimate Judgment Jockos in the deck is Frieza Universe 7 United. Uh, really easy card to play with, um, to shuffle in. And then also it's an easy way to ensure that you always have a blocker. I mean, play this card from your drop area. Um, I believe it is... A uh, it's either two blue and one colorless or one colorless and two blue um but really really easy card to play from your discard pile so another card great um the other one uh this one again you could add the reason why i decided to take this card out of the deck uh the guasu uh, zamasu's master yeah you are shuffling in three cards uh three or, or three or more cards that cost three or more three battle cards that are three or more 3500 or less which would mean that you would actually be able to shuffle in the uh, fuse Zamasu in the deck as well problem is is you do have to discard a card in order to use it and then also there's no way to revive this card from your discard pile it's basically a two drop once it goes in there it's a dead card so um, there's no way for you to shuffle it back and then continue comboing with it. Uh, if somebody does have a way to shuffle it back, put it in the comments. I'd love it. Maybe I can get it squeezed in there, but that's why I don't run it. Um, however, could be a good side deck card. And then finally, the other card that I do have in the side deck is the SS Rose Goku Black um, Divine Prosperity. Uh, this is definitely a money card right now. The Champion 2020 cards go for quite a bit of money. As a matter of fact, I actually sold one of mine for, I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks, I think. Um, you could run this in there. Um, it is a counter negate, which does add more counter negates to the deck. And then also um, some, you know, uh, to pair with Fuse Amasu, just more fodder for you to actually fuse. Um, yeah, kind of hard right now for me to fit space. The deck is pretty, uh, kind of jam packed now. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are, hopefully this gives you kind of an idea on kind of what deck you guys want to build. Um, I really love this deck, like against Argo, this deck is so much fun to play because if your opponent can do 14 life to you, uh, in, by turn two. 
and uh, you have this defense and stuff like that, and they can still do 14 life to you with sensu beams and all that stuff. Well, you know what? That that's you know, hey, um, I haven't seen too many decks that can do that, and that includes the new. Uh, uh, and I know I'm gonna mispronounce it. Sorry, uh, Vajanks or Vcoots deck or whatever Vegeta and Trunks fusion. Um, even that deck. I mean, you're talking 14 life, but turn two or whatever. No, like not if you know you're running a Sensu Bean or something like that. No, they, they're not doing. And then like with Ultimate Judgment Jocko, and they're not doing a bunch of crit damage to you. So you're getting those cards in your hand as well. So. Um, Again, I don't know. I mean, we haven't seen set 10 come out, so I can see somebody come up with a deck like that. But so far, me playing around with this deck, um, absolutely love it. So uh, let me get, uh, let me know what you guys think. I do have plenty of other deck profiles and plenty of other decks I've got ready. Um, got a whole bunch of them here. I got a Universe 7 Golden Frieza. I got my... Um, I've got my red-yellow Goku deck that actually, Surge Coup, that I went to regionals with, and I got my regionals invite in Vegas. Um, yeah, they nerfed it a little bit, but I still like the way that it plays. Um, so, yeah. So, if you guys have uh, any questions, make sure you're putting them in the comments. I want to say a big, big fit thank you to our Patreon supporters. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, please keep it up. Like, thank you for, uh, thank you for being a supporter. And uh, I look forward to making more of these videos, and uh, hopefully I get a little bit better setup as well here, so the video will be a little bit better, and um, we're working on it. We're working on it. So, hey, take it easy, fellow Metamaniacs, and uh, I'll talk to you later.